burnout mass means when all the propellant gets exhausted in double stage rocket first of all initial stage will burn correct then we will not carry this structure unnecessarily we will throw this out so first stage will get separated and then burning of second stage will get started correct in rocket propulsion we are mainly interested in incremental velocity achieved by the rocket that is denoted by delta v so delta v should be as high as possible right so when we burn propellant from time t is equal to 0 to burn time t b here when all the propellant gets exhausted we achieve certain velocity that is incremental velocity delta v so our purpose is to maximize this delta v right this delta v depends upon many factors like gravity drag through the atmosphere specific impulse multi staging right so in this topic we are going to compare single stage rocket and double stage rocket right so from given mass of the propellant we will build single stage rocket first and then double stage rocket and we will compare both for incremental velocity delta v by neglecting all other factors like gravity drag specific impulse right so let's say we have total mass of the propellant that is mp equal to 400 kg right its specific impulse isp is 220 second right mass of this structure ms is equal to 40 kilogram right mass of the payload it can be anything like satellite mass of the payload ml is equal to let's say 2 kilogram right so first of all we will build single stage rocket and we will find out delta v incremental velocity achieved by this rocket right so first of all single stage rocket what about total initial mass of this rocket m not m not is mp plus ms plus payload mass ml right that is 400 plus 40 plus 2 that is 442 kilogram correct what about burnout mass mb burnout mass means when all the propellant gets exhausted right so that will be equal to m not initial mass minus mp propellant mass correct that is 442 minus mp 400 that is equal to 42 kilogram right what about delta v formula derivation we did in the lecture i'm directly going to write the formula here by neglecting gravity and all other factor like drag delta v is equal to isp into g ln m not by burnout mass mb right this is the formula to find out delta v derivation we did in lecture let's substitute the value 220 into 9.81 ln 442 divided by 42 right so delta v will be equal to 5080 meter per second that is equal to 
5.08 किलोमीटर पर सेकेंड करेक्ट दिस मच डेल्टा वी वी हैव अचीव बाय बिल्डिंग सिंगल स्टेज रॉकेट फ्रॉम दिस गिवन डाटा करेक्ट नाउ लेट्स डू द कैलकुलेशन फॉर डबल स्टेज रॉकेट राइट तो लेट्स डिवाइड दिस प्रोपेलेंट मास इंटू टू इक्वल पार्ट फॉर इनिशियल स्टेज स्टेज वन एम पी वन लेट से टू हंड्रेड किलोग्राम सिमिलरली एम पी टू फॉर सेकेंड स्टेज इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड किलोग्राम सिमिलरली फॉर स्ट्रक्चरल मास एम एस स्ट्रक्चरल मास ऑफ फर्स्ट स्टेज इज ट्वेंटी किलोग्राम स्ट्रक्चरल मास ऑफ सेकेंड स्टेज इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी किलोग्राम राइट हेयर फॉर सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी विल अज्यूम दैट देर इज नेग्लेबल चेंज इन स्ट्रक्चरल मास बिकॉज ऑफ डबल स्टेज राइट मास ऑफ द पे लोड एम एल इज सेम टू किलोग्राम राइट सो नाउ वी आर बिल्डिंग डबल स्टेज रॉकेट करेक्ट इन डबल स्टेज रॉकेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इनिशियल स्टेज विल बर्न करेक्ट देन वी विल नॉट कैरी दिस स्ट्रक्चर अननेसेसरीली वी विल थ्रो दिस आउट सो फर्स्ट स्टेज विल गेट सेपरेटेड एंड देन बर्निंग ऑफ सेकेंड स्टेज विल गेट स्टार्टेड करेक्ट सो वॉट अबाउट टोटल इनिशियल मास टोटल इनिशियल मास ऑफ फर्स्ट स्टेज हेयर टोटल मास दैट इज फोर फोर्टी टू फोर फोर्टी टू किलोग्राम राइट वाट अबाउट बर्न आउट मास एम बी फॉर फर्स्ट स्टेज टोटल इनिशियल मास माइनस प्रोपेलेंट मास दैट इज टू हंड्रेड किलोग्राम फोर फोर्टी टू माइनस टू हंड्रेड That is equal to two forty two kilogram, right? So what about delta v for stage one? That is again same formula ISP into G ln m naught by m b. So ISP is two twenty. Into nine point eight one into ln four forty two divided by two forty two. So we'll get delta v for first stage is equal to thirteen hundred meter per second. Right. Now after burning of first stage, we will throw this. right and then initial mass of second stage m not for second stage will be 242 right without this propellant mass was 242 then we will throw this structure of 20 kg right so 242 minus 20 That is two twenty two kilogram. That will be the initial mass of the second stage, right? What about burnout mass of second stage? Mb initial mass minus propellant mass again two hundred kilogram. That is twenty two. Kilogram, right? What about delta v for second stage? 
आई एस पी इंटू जी इंटू एल एन एम नॉट बाई एम बी आई एस पी टू ट्वेंटी जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन एल एन एम नॉट टू ट्वेंटी टू एम बी ट्वेंटी टू राइट दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर नाइन एट नाइन मीटर पर सेकेंड so what what about total delta v achieved in this case delta v for first stage plus delta v for second stage right so total delta v for this stage will be for this rocket will be delta v for first stage plus delta v for second stage right that is 1300 plus 4989 so total delta v achieved in this case is 6289 meter per second that is equal to 6.289 kilometer per second in single stage rocket case we achieved 5 km per second delta v right here we got 6.28 km per second so here additional 1.2 km per second velocity we are getting by converting this single stage rocket into double stage right so this is the advantage of multi staging correct as compared to this this double stage rocket is more beneficial because our ultimate aim is to get as high as possible what that delta v delta v should be as high as possible correct incremental velocity so this is the advantage of multi staging in rocket year after year we consistently produce ranks from our classroom program students at gate aerospace academy we offer gate aerospace classroom program we provide regular and weekend classes in this program in hyderabad bangalore new delhi and chennai we also offer gate aerospace online program students from all over india can enroll in and attend classes in this program we also offer gate aerospace postal program students who wants to self prepare for gate aerospace exam can enroll in this postal program to get all the materials that are needed and we also offer gate aerospace test series program test series are very crucial in the preparation process so make sure that you practice more before the actual exam our test series course is divided into two main category gate aerospace test series and gate aerospace previous year questions test series this gate aerospace test series is further arranged according to topic wise test for different different topic of a particular subject subject wise test for different subjects then combination of subjects under multiple subject test grant test has full syllabus test like gate exam similarly previous year questions test previous year questions test series are arranged according to topic wise subject wise and then year wise we have also published two must have book for aerospace aspirants that is gate aerospace solution book and gate aerospace formula book which you can buy from flipkart and amazon there is separate video regarding features of these books link is given in description you can check it for postal program we have problem sheet book level 1 and level 2 and study material for all the subjects aircraft structure aerodynamics space mechanics jet propulsion flight mechanics engineering mathematics be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon if you want to learn more about gate aerospace and receive regular updates related to aerospace and aeronautical engineering such as lectures job notifications internships and job openings and many more by subscribing you will be notified whenever we upload a new video and it helps us to reach you quickly so join our official telegram channel for regular updates and follow us in the social media 
all the links are given in the description thank you so much thank you so much for your support